Hi everyone, welcome. This is Stardust LV and hope you guys are well. Today we're going to talk about this Louis Vuitton Loop Hobo GM. Why I love this bag and we're going to break it down to its aesthetic, its functionality and its versatility. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you um, some mud shots on how it looks like with different kind of jacket. At least you'll have an idea how you will wear it this fall and winter if you're eyeing this bag. So let's get started. First, we're gonna talk about the aesthetic of this bag. So this bag is big, guys. Um, I got this from Louis Vuitton two weeks ago and I've used this and I really, really love this bag. This is retail for 2780 US dollars and this comes with this beautiful beautiful chain and also this um, long strap. If you have not seen my unboxing video, I included their uh, measurements of this bag so try check out on that because I also have some mud shots in there. There is no front and back on this bag because wherever you placed it, it is just the right look of the bag. It, this bag is really well made guys. The chain strap that goes with it is substantial. As you can see, the even the chain has a groove. Did you see this groove? Each one of this chain has like an indention here to make it different from all the other chains that we've seen. So it, it's nice that they added this little detail on the chain. Added shine when it hits light because of the groove that they added in here. And it also comes with this adjustable strap. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. And I put it on the first hole. And this one has a different kind of belt loop as it is inverted. So if you can see, it is different from other belt loops that we see. And also the, it has a D-ring here that's marked Louis Vuitton in here. And I love, love the color combination of this bag. Um, usually we see the Vachette um, leather, but this one, it is dyed to this beautiful, beautiful subtle brown. Um, or espresso color brown which is beautiful and I also love that they put like um like a leather piece in here at the end and it says Louis Vuitton also here in the rivets and also here so back to back they etch it with Louis Vuitton this is why I bought this bag because I really really love this reverse that was added here at the bottom I saw this first as a runway piece part of the runway collection first time I saw the the picture I was really drawn to the look of this bag as it is really beautiful slouch down like that it's so beautiful and I think the model um, hold it like this down below as she was walking and this slouch like it's really really beautiful at the side that I kept thinking about this bag Went to the store to buy this bag I really didn't expect that I would be able to get it as I did not pre-order it. I just went straight to the store and then my SA was there. I did not make any appointments and when she saw me, I asked her about this hobo bag and she checked. Uh, it's not even on display. She checked at the inventory at the store and then she said there's one left and she brought it to me and when I tried it, I was just sold. This has to come with me home. and. I did bought it right on the spot so this is um, really really big I did not expect for me to appreciate big bags now that I'm older because um, I now carry small bags as, as you've noticed I, I don't really carry I have a never full but I'm not using it I only use it when I travel or when I put stuff in there but not big bags however this big bag it slouches like this so it not it may not look as big if you're gonna put it on your shoulder or if you will wear it crossbody here at the side at each slouches like this and it doesn't look like you know like when it started big as this one so the aesthetic of this bag is really really beautiful as i've said this bag is not for everyone but if you are the person who appreciate hobo bags this is for you as it's really slouched beautifully when you put stuff inside and they put a piece of leather here that continues with a strap so when you wear it at the side it really looks beautiful and it just continues from way down up 
So I I also like that it, this is not a common combination of Louis Vuitton and it's just an, an updated look on the bag that they added this darker color leather with a reverse monogram here at the side. And inside the bag has one big space. It doesn't have any slip pockets. However, it came with this beautiful, beautiful pouch. The way I see this bag is one is like $500. This one, chain, this beautiful chain is like $500. So this is $1,000 for both of it. And then the bag itself, it will cost like, um, it's $2,780 total. So it will be like $1,780. That's how I justify this bag. And for $1,780 Louis Vuitton bag, this is such a big bag for the price, right? So you can really get most of your money on this beautiful, beautiful bag with this addition. And it's also nice that they line this beautifully with this dark color brown. And this is not a flimsy lining, guys. This has a thickness to it, which I love. So it's really made well. And this is made in France. This is made in France and this is microchip. So it doesn't have any codes at the side. This also has a made in France stamp in here. And this one has another slip pocket for the cards. And this is what it looks like. It is a clutch purse on its own, as you can see. And I really, really love this addition as well. There's like um, a D-ring here inside where you can clip it. So this one, guys, I'm gonna show you. It has a D-ring where you can clip this clutch so that it will stay inside your bag. For example, if you want to put your money inside, so, uh, your wallet inside, it will fit inside in this bag. Showing you the aesthetic of the bag, I think um, we're going to go to the functionality of this bag. So we're going to talk about what fits in this big purse. And I have here several stuff that um, show you what can fit in this bag. This is a huge bag. You can fit a lot in so this. We're gonna try to put some stuff inside, guys. This is my toiletry 26. And we're gonna put this inside the bag to see if it will fit so you'll have an idea how big is this bag. So the toiletry 26 fits comfortably inside and you still have space to put more. Okay, so this can zip out with a toiletry. However, it doesn't give the slouch that we want. So I wouldn't put a toiletry 26 in here because I like the slouch look of this bag. So this can fit a big Louis Vuitton shawl, guys. As you can see, this very is very huge. And, and we will fit this in here inside the bag. Because this is what I plan to use this bag to put the shawl inside. If you have a Louis Vuitton dust bag that has a, or any any dust bag that has a string on the so side, this will not get snugged by your other items. From my uh, shoes, Louis Vuitton shoes um, dust bag, and I haven't used this yet. So I'll put it in here if I'm gonna use this uh, shawl and we'll put this inside the bag to protect it from the snug so it easily fits inside the bag guys and it still has a lot of room so i'm gonna put some stuff here like a wallet this is a victorine wallet a chanel wallet and chanel mini o case and we'll put it all inside so see you can have an idea what can fit in here and we'll just close this for example because the the shawl um, took a lot of space already so it will look like this guys it has a beautiful look to it at the side that I really really love so functionality wise this is really functional and practical bag as you can really fit your kitchen sink inside this bag if you will remove this shawl you can see that there is really like a lot of space in here Put your water bottle in here or if you have like a baby formula bottle 
I don't know if you will risk um, uh, wetting the inside of the purse but anyways you can use this as a baby bag if you have a sunglasses and an eyeglasses for example like you can just like put all in here if you are shopping and you buy small stuff and you don't want to carry it you can put it inside the bag so let's talk about this clutch that was included inside the bag the regular credit card we're gonna fit here in the card slots and you can still put more in here and supposing you're gonna bring this is a victorine wallet let's see if it will fit inside it's just the right fit for the victorine wallet and you cannot fit anymore if you're gonna bring this as its own um, Let's see if you can fit a sunglasses in here. So it also surprisingly fit a sunglasses and this is a big sunglasses. This is my sunglasses from Chanel and you can see that this is huge. So it is nice that it could fit in this clutch. So if you have cards and sunglasses to bring, it will fit. Also, if you have like, for example, some small SLGs like this YSL and Hermes Bastia we'll put it inside and it fits and you can also still fit one more lipstick in here so this is really like um, like a separate SLG on its own and that's why I said guys if Louis Vuitton will sell this for 500 I guess people will still buy this as this is a functional piece and it is included in this bag and also for this chain this is a beautiful substantial chain that's also included in this bag if this is really a functional functional bag if you will we'll ask talk about the versatility of this bag again this is in several pieces that you can mix and match the straps in using this bag this is so versatile that you can for example like use it here it has a pretty silhouette here at the side and this is what sold me guys like this silhouette is just so pretty i like the contrast of this leather this reverse monogram and the classic monogram it's so beautiful here at the side so if you also want to wear it here on your shoulder you can do so and if you want to wear it crossbody it is also beautiful like it just clings to your body and just have this beautiful silhouette here at the side and it is not common for Louis Vuitton to have this silhouette for a crossbody bag that's why I really really love this bag so this is what um, makes it stand out among other monogram bags in my opinion and you can also use this strap to your other bags for example I brought in here some SLGs for us to try and I have this um, mini pochette and we'll try to put this beautiful chain strap so this is what it looks like guys it just gives this mini pochette a different vibe as you can see if you will compare the strap of the mini pochette compared to this strap you can see a huge difference and the gold finish on this is so beautiful as well so here and also i have brought my pochette accessories so this is my pochette accessories and we'll put this chain strap so beautiful guys like here oh my god it's so pretty if you will wear it handheld like this it just gives your um, SLGs a different vibe whenever you attach this chain strap and also if you have a filiche so this is my um, limited edition filiche the game on filiche and you can just um, see how it will elevate this purse and you can already like use this in formal occasions if you have this strap even if you put it in your shoulder it looks like this so pretty so i love love this chain strap that was added in this bag it just makes it look um classic and edgy as well if you're gonna attach it in here and supposing you wanna try to use this strap on your other bags let's see if we can be able to do that so this is the the like the espresso color 
um, strap and will put it in my filiche. So you can also use this other SLG. Um, let's try to see if it will work here in my pochette accessories. So what do you think guys? I think it works as well, right? See? So this is the Vachette um, leather and this one is the, the loop hobo strap. And what I love about this bag as well is the workmanship on this bag is really, really beautiful. If you can see the, the glazing, it's so neatly made that I did not see any like flaws or any bump into this glazing. See that guys? So pretty. So let me know what you think of this bag guy. And please do hit like and subscribe if you find this useful. And I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!